Hello classmates of social welfare history. My name is Abu Silva and the person I decided to research for my contribution project was Lester Blackwell Granger. He was a social worker, civil rights activist, and a labor rights activist. He was born on September 16, 1896 in Newport News, Virginia to Mary Granger and William Randolph. Him and his five brothers was raised in Newark, New Jersey, where his family had relocated to after a lack of public high school opportunities for Negroes. After graduating from Barron High School, Granger then attended Dartmouth College and graduated in 1918 with a degree in economics. He had strong goals to pursue a career in international banking, but due to Jim Crow laws, he then enlisted in the Army and fought in World War II. After he was discharged, he worked as an industrial relations secretary with the National Urban League chapter in Newark, New Jersey. While working for the organization, he was teaching high school and college in North Carolina and worked as a social worker at Borden Towns, New Jersey Manual Training School for Colored Boys. In addition to that, he received social work training from New York School for Social Work. He then became the business manager of the League's Magazine Opportunity. In 1934, he joined the National League's Workers Council that promoted trade and unionism amongst blacks serving as their director. During World War II, he, he was a special consultant to Navy Secretaries James V. Forrester and Charles S. Thomas. Due to his efforts, he was awarded the Navy Medal for Distinguished Civilian Service and the Presidential's Medal. He was very prominent in the social work field. In fact, in 1952, he became the first president, sorry, I mean person, to be elected president of the National Conference of Social Work. He also served as the chairman of the United States Committee and the International Conference of Social Work elected both president and vice president. In 1957, he sent a letter to Dr. Martin Luther King commending him for taking forthright steps to find practical solutions to, for the critical problems that Negro civilians was facing within that time period. He also declined this, the, um, by 1961, the National Urban League was viewed as one of the more conservative of the race advancement organizations. Their policy was one of persuasion and education, scope for use of media for education, and delivery of social work services via the direct action policies of confrontation. Many blacks were beginning to feel like Granger and the NUL was wasting time trying to work with the establishment. They expressed intense levels of criticism towards him when he ringed the NUL stating to adopt competition tactics to deal with community issues. Lester Granger began to face more negative criticism after his decision to join the Republican Party during the time when most blacks were embracing the Democratic Party. He became a registered member of the Republican Party in the late 1940s. With Granger's leadership, the NUL worked to gain employment for blacks in numerous professional, technical, and skilled occupational ways. They all challenged the federal government in order to end employment and housing discrimination. During the McCarthy era, his name was frequently appeared on the housing committee for un-American activities list. His leadership on the Workers' Council, along with his understanding of power of union and education, got him through the leadership position he received from the NUL. Granger did not change his state, his style, and the priorities of the NUL once new blacks, new black leaders turned into politics of confrontation and direct action. This approach affected social change and it was inconsistent once new groups of leaders define political and social relations. Granger's personal philosophy was similar with the League's official mission, which affected social change through shaped ideas. Lester Granger motivated people using the power of knowledge. He believed that he was considerate people of integrity, 
will respond to situations in a just and humane way. He always inspired others to use their own thinking based off their opinion on fact. He viewed himself as an educator, leader, and spokesperson for the racial advancement. He felt if he accomplished, has he accomplished something just by seeing people listening to what he was saying and receiving feedback from his writings and speeches. He had a conceptual style that influenced him to speak on issues and tolerance within the black community. Critics of his leadership shared his views, provided support, and showed understanding of his ideas. In fact, Rob Boucher, the director of Division of Trustee with the United Nations, wrote him a letter expressing that he served as a critic of the NUL. On January 9, 1976, Lester Blackwell Granger passed away in Alexandria, Louisiana. Before he passed, he last taught at Denver University in New Orleans. He was one of the first African-American pioneers who paved the way for social workers. He will always be remembered as a champion of integration and equal treatment for African-Americans.